Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Amanda and I'm a 23 year old cash budgeter that lives in Texas. So today's video is going to be the first cash stuffing for the month of June and I'm super excited for today's video because since it is the first stuffing of the month, that does also mean that we are having a giveaway and I don't think I've ever been more excited for a giveaway in my entire YouTube career. So I am super excited for this one. Um, but before I share that with you guys, we are just going to go ahead and get started in prepping our little space for today's video. So we're gonna go ahead and count our money here. So this should be our normal $100, but then we do have quite a bit of extra bills that we will be stuffing um, from rollover as well as just money that my mom gave me because it was just kind of laying around. So let's go ahead and count this up super quick. So we do have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100 dollars. So that is what we pulled from the bank that we normally stuff like every single week. But between Jordan and I, we did have a crap ton of rollover from last week. I did exchange it into one dollar bills because if you missed my last budget with me, I did show a couple new binders that I will be adding and we are going to be stuffing my baby binder today because it does get stuffed with rollover. So that binder today will be getting a total of, let's go ahead and see, it's kind of, it's kind of a lot. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 dollars. But that is not all because before we well, actually real quick, let me unstuff my change super quickly because we do have quite a bit of that. Okay, so that is not all. My mom did have some $1 bills um, just kind of in her wallet and she knows that we like to save them. So she did give me a couple. So let's go ahead and count this up. Um, I don't think this is going to go into my baby binder. I think I'm going to use this to add more into my gumball savings challenge but we have one two three four five and six dollars from her so i'm just gonna add that into the extra ones so that i kind of keep everything separated and now i'm gonna flip to my june monthly spread so that we can go ahead and talk about this giveaway super quickly so the last time i had you guys enter through my youtube comments which was literally a mess because YouTube was deleting comments that I didn't even get to see um, to approve or deny. So because of that, I did had, I did mention that I was going to um, do all for the giveaways on Instagram only, which was a lie because when I was looking back at my other giveaways that I had on my channel, I did notice that I had started using the Google Forms. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave a Google Form in the top link of my description. There is going to be like a little bit of a question air, um, like your name, shipping address, a way to contact you, and then a fun little question just to get you guys to actually enter the giveaway. And with that, I'll be able to pick the winner a lot easily because I can just have Google pick a random number um, based on the amount of forms that I received. And then when I pick a winner, it's going to be a lot quicker of a turnaround because your shipping address will have already been given to me. So that way I can just go ahead and send out the gift. So this giveaway is going live on Thursday, uh, July, sorry, Thursday, June 6th and it will be closing on June 13th. And that is because the product that I'm giving away today, you will be able to purchase on my Etsy shop starting June 14th. So I'm so very excited about this because I've been working on this for quite a while now. Um, and I did show a sneak peek of it in my budget with me. So now for the prize, well, actually before we get into the prize, this giveaway is for US only and you do need to be 18 or older to enter. So definitely just keep those things in mind before filling out the Google form link um, down below. And you also have to be subscribed, of course, because this is a giveaway for my subscribers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already and that little bell so you get notifications every time that I post. So anyway, now let's talk about the gift. So this is my Disney Icons Savings Challenge. I have worked on this for quite a while now. It is 12 months long and I did kind of formulate it for lower income budgets. That way it feels a lot more attainable and it's something that we can all actually do even if we're not able to stuff like an extra $100 a week. So Disney Icon Savings Challenge created by me. It does start off with a little dashboard that includes a checklist on the back. So 
This challenge does save you a total of $439 if you do it as is. So these are all the challenges with their respective amounts and you can either check these off or fill them in as you go. So each savings tracker is also an envelope. So it is white on both sides. And similar to the savings trackers in my envelopes, you will be coloring them in as you do that corresponding number. So we do have glass slipper, we have scare games, um, Kachow, Snake in My Boot, Be Our Guest, Under the Sea, Snuggly Duckling, Ohana, Keep Swimming, Oh Honey. And then we have Almost There and Adventure Awaits. So again, these are all lower, more attainable amounts. I plan to start mine in the month of July, which is why I'm doing the giveaway in June so that you receive it in time to start with me if that's something that you want to do. And with that being said, that's also why I'm releasing it on June 14th so that you'll have your products hopefully by the start of July. So that is going to be the prize for this month and I'm super excited about it. I've been waiting for so long to just share this and post this giveaway already uh, because I want to start my challenge like now, but I know it'll be easier for me if I start in July. That way I get six months through 2024 and six months through 2025. But Anyway, best of luck to anyone who enters. Again, if you do not win the giveaway, um, I will have these for sale on my Etsy shop. So now let's go ahead and get started with my cash stuffing. So we're going to start with my sinking funds binder. Um, because if you don't watch Lily Budgets, definitely watch Lily Budgets. I can't stress this enough. I absolutely love her channel. I will be stuffing my baby binder the way that she does with $1 bills at the end of the video. And I will not be tracking it. Anyway, now... To actually start, Jordan did pick my numbers this week. I didn't post a budget with me for June week one because yesterday, I was just like, well, yesterday is Monday for me because today I'm filming on Tuesday. Um, I was just in a lot of pain and I could not sit down and like film a video because Mother Nature decided to pay me a visit. So I did have Jordan pick the numbers for this week and he was super excited to do that and very happy about it. Um, so yeah, he did pick the numbers for this week, which is why they looked a little bit different than what we were used to for the month of May. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have seven brew here. I did go on a little girly pop date with Wanda and I got her a pop cup and I got myself a brunette, um, which I have not tried before. It's pretty good. All right, so for today's video, I think we're gonna do, we can do the color orange. I don't know, I kinda, I don't really like the color orange, but I wish we had more of like a pinky color permanent marker. This is like the closest one to pink that we have. But anyway, car maintenance is going to be getting $7 today. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Jordan did want me to do two letters instead of just like the actual number seven. So we'll go ahead and do B, which is the space for number two, and then we'll do E. And that is our total for $7. Okay, so car maintenance is now going to have a total of... Oh, really quickly, another disclaimer. I know, I keep like saying, let's move on. And then I think of something else. I did pull all my money out in 20s. And then I went through my envelopes um, to condense them a little bit more to get what I needed. So if stuff looks different, that's why. Um, anyway, car maintenance has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125, 126, 27, and 28. So we have $128 in car maintenance. My envelopes are starting to rip. Some of them already have like clear tape on the sides. Um, I used 100% like Amazon lamination sheets for these envelopes, which is a terrible idea. For my last little like envelope Etsy era, I learned that Amazon lamination sheets are not the best for like sealing the envelope. They're okay for the inside like to make it clear but oh my gosh I'm learning my lesson again. Um, I forgot a lot of things I guess. Christmas is going to be getting $15 today. I'm so excited for Christmas especially if somehow some way the universe allows Jordan and I to get our first home before then I would literally cry from excitement because I love Christmas and I love to decorate literally every inch of my living space one two three four five 
and I just, I feel like that would be such a sweet little moment. So Christmas now has a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, and 70 dollars. So 70 bucks in Christmas. I do need to save like quite a bit in here, honestly, because if you guys aren't aware, I am one of six kids. Um, so I have a lot of gifts to buy for a lot of people. Um, sorry, I don't know why I said that. Clothing is going to be getting $10. So let's stuff this. This is one of the ones that's like busting at the seams, which a lot of them already had started doing that and I had just put clear tape, but I didn't know that that one was dripping that much. So I didn't prep for it. So let's fill in a bag here. Okay, so clothing now has a total of 10, 20, 21, 2, and 23. I'll let that dry a little longer. So 23 in clothes. How has your guys' week been going? I went to a concert on Sunday in Austin with one of my friends from work and Jordan. It was so super fun. It was for the artist NF, if any of you guys listen to him. Um, it was a great concert. I actually really, really loved it. So next is going to be gaming, and gaming is going to get $2 today. And let's fill this in. I'm wondering if we're going to pull the money from gaming a little bit early because... If you guys have missed it, I did say it a while ago, we are saving up for what's called like a Riff Master. I don't know. It's something for a game Jordan plays. And he said they're releasing it this month and he doesn't know when they're going to release it again. And my poor babe has been wanting that for like so long now. I just feel bad making him wait. So we might just pull this to help cover some of that expense. Um, and then I guess just restart it. So gaming now has a total of 20, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, which, yes, that's correct, because it had $29 before we added this, so 31. Okay, and then gifts is going to be getting $10. I really am considering starting, like, a holiday binder, because I have seen those in a lot of the videos that I'm watching, and I feel like it can be very convenient but I don't know, because the whole thing of, like, I'm only stuffing $100 a week. I don't know if I can stretch into another binder. Um, but if you guys have started one and you found that it's really convenient, do let me know below. There are a lot of holidays that I kind of just skip over throughout the year, though. Um, but I feel like gifts could really focus on birthdays, and then I can have Mother's Day, Father's Day, like, in separate envelopes. But... Yeah, if you do that, let me know how that works for you. That way I can see if it's something I should consider more heavily. So, Gifts now has 20, 30, 40, and 45. So, $45 for Gifts. So, after Gifts, we do have Haircut, and Haircut is going to be getting $7. I might start doubling up on this tracker um, just so that Jordan doesn't have to wait too long to get his haircut. Because his hair grows really fast. So $7 in here. So let's do 5 and then 6 and 7. Alright, so haircut now has a total of 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 36. 36 dollars. The 80 dollars on this sweet savings challenge um is the perfect amount for his haircut plus the tip so this is one of the ones that i do sell on my etsy shop if you guys are interested of course you wouldn't get it with like the smudged ink um that's just a con of having sweaty hands but it's fine so next is going to be medical medical is just going to get its one dollar per usual and i don't think we can fill anything in until we reach fifteen dollars yeah so medical is just getting one so it now has a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six dollars. Yeah. So six bucks in medical. My sister is currently getting an allergy test done today, and that kind of like freaks me out. So she went with her she went with her mom. She went with our mom. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I'm way too scared to ever do one of those. Pet needs is going to be getting five dollars today. I really love this tracker. I love the size of the little hearts. I love how much, like, color is on it whenever it's filled in. So they're going to be getting 
five dollars today i still want to save up to buy the boys a new cat tree because they tore up the one in our bedroom they absolutely love that thing um but yeah i just i love my cats and i've I of course love wanda too but wanda is able to go outside and get enrichment outside whereas my cats a lot of the stuff they do is indoor only so pet care now has 20 30 40 50 55 and 60 dollars my dream is to build my cats a catio. Um, that would, of course, just have to wait until we get a home. I could build it outside of my bedroom window that I have here at my mom's because it does lead to the only concrete slab in our backyard. But I don't know because we also have an AC unit like in that window. So I don't think that would work very well. Um, Pins is going to be getting $7 today. I have not gone to the mall to buy new pins. I usually go to Hot Topic or Box Lunch, but the Hot Topic that I normally visit, it is under construction for an expansion. And every time I go to the mall, I'm thinking they're open already and they're not. So I'm like, it's a sign. The universe just wants me to save my money to be going on a Disney trip so I could buy all the pins <laughs> when I go to Disney World. Um, yeah, anyway, the pins now has 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, and 24. Four. Is that correct? 20, 10, 15, 21, 2, 3, 4. So 24. Jordan and I are looking to book a Disney trip for the beginning of February um, in 2025 because that is when we went this year and we want to do it annually because our wedding anniversary is so actually our dating anniversary is November 3rd, wedding anniversary is December 7th, his birthday is January 9th, and my birthday is February 8th. So, all of that's, like, in the same time of the year. And the wait times were so good in the beginning of February this year. Like, Pirates was $5 the entire, sorry, five minutes the entire time we were at Magic Kingdom. And so, we're looking into booking that trip um, so that it could be something annual. But, of course, since we are trying to buy a home, it may not be, it just may not work out. Uh, so, we might end up having to do something smaller. So, we'll see how that ends up going. But fingers crossed that we can make it work so tattoos is gonna just be getting one dollar so we have one two three four and five in here okay i do need to work on tattoos because after so i had an appointment in uh in may that had to get rescheduled for june so that money is already saved for that tattoo and i wasn't gonna get any more after that but my artist is having like a game that's called deal or no deal so you send her your design price pla uh, placement and she tells you if you have a deal or not and i sent one in and i got a deal so i need to bulk this up because it's a tattoo that i have been wanting forever it's a haunted mansion piece that's going to be like pretty large so i have to save up for that i know you know i'm trying to do better so toiletries is next and that one is going to be getting ten dollars which is pretty good. I'm proud of Jordan for picking $10 for this one because I feel like we haven't actually stuffed it in quite a bit. Um, I usually have just been putting a dollar. So we have 10 going into here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 2, and 33. Okay, after that is travel, which we were just talking about. So we would, if we did figure out a way to do the Disney trip, um, even with trying to buy the house, this money would then be for like flights um, or paying ourselves back or just like money to actually use on the trip. So yeah, that's why this wouldn't have to be fully funded prior to booking. Because also when you book a Disney trip, it's just a $200 deposit um, and then you can pay as much as you want whenever you want as long as it's paid off a month before you leave so travel now has 20 30 40 50 and 51 51 dollars in travel then now we're moving on to our savings challenges um that are in the back so the first one is going to get five dollars and this one is my household supplies challenge I want to get one of these finished pretty quickly because one of my goals for the month of June, one of my budget goals, 
is to start stuffing my home binder, which is only waiting on these savings challenges to be complete because this is what's funding that binder. So household supplies now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So $40 in here. So this one does have a goal of 250. So we're still a little bit away from that one. So summer savings challenge. This is also going towards my home binder. This one will probably buy, uh, sorry, be an easier goal to finish by the end of June. It's going to be tough, but it is just a goal of $100 and I step $100 a week. So really, if I wanted to try very hard, I could finish this um by the end of june so we're stuffing five dollars in here so we have 20 25 and 30 but i think i'm gonna pull five ones from the money that my mom gave me to kind of get this one going so we have one two three four and five dollars additional so now this one has 20 25 30 31 two three four and five so 35 which we have a goal of $135. So that would mean we have $65 left to stuff, which I could do next week and the week after. So let's fill this in. I kind of don't want to put them next to each other. So I'm going to like, I'm just going to fill this one in down here. Okay. So that's good. There is summer savings challenge. So lastly is the gumball savings challenge from my sinking funds binder. This would typically, like this third challenge would also be going to my home binder, but I do need to purchase another planner um, before August comes around. So because of that, I am using this right now. And then when I rotate this savings challenge out, it'll be going towards the home binder. So we are stuffing $5 in here today. So we'll do that one and then this one so let's grab the five and now our gumball savings challenge has 10 20 25 30 35 40 41 2 3 43 dollars for a goal of 58 so 58 minus 43 leaves us with 15 dollars which i think because if i put five dollars of that rollover right now then I just have to put $10 next week and it's done. But I honestly, I'm also not too worried about this. So I'm just going to leave it. That way all that can go to the baby binder. So Gumball Challenge now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, and 43. Oh, I'd already counted that, didn't I? Okay. So $43 in my Gumball Challenge, which puts us just $15 away from my new planner. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? And then I think when I finish this one, I think I'm going to rotate it out with my claw savings challenge, um, which is available on my Etsy shop. So that is all for this binder. And now we're going to stuff my baby binder. So my other budget goal for the month of June is to make sure that, or sorry, not make sure because it's a goal, but I want every envelope in my baby binder to at least have $5 at the end of the month. Um, which would just mean I have to stuff $50 in the month of June. So I do have the categories written down here because I originally was going to track them. But if you guys watch Lily Budgets, she does just stuff the $1 bills. And then at the end of every month, she'll like revisit her totals. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep stuffing a dollar till we run out. Um, I have my binder sorted from highest priority to lower priority. I did have Jordan um, sit down with me and figure out what we wanted where. So... Yeah, I'm basically just going to start, um, I think we can, how much do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, so $22, so everything's at least going to get 2 so I'll go ahead and do that. That way we're not going to flip through all of them, just have to go through and do it again. So, anyway... The first one that we have is medical, and I did make all these envelopes myself, and I am in love with them. I think they're so cute. Um, then we have equipment, which is also going to be getting two. Diapers and wipes. 
Um, so our baby plans are not like in the near future necessarily, but they're not very far away. Um, we do just want a house before we try for any babies. Um, because again, that's like our rule for each other is that we get a house before we get a kid. Um, so that's why this is getting stuffed with just rollover. Um, slowly but surely we'll be building up. So we have emergency, which is also getting two. My credit score jumped a lot recently, which I am super, super excited for. Um, it's really just kind of focusing on Jordan's a little bit more to get his where we need it to be to get approved. And I really, I'm just so excited. Please send us good vibes because this is something we're trying so hard for. I know with the whole tattoo thing, it's like, why well, are you really trying hard? But I promise you, like, anything outside of that, we've been very frugal um, in terms of just trying to save, like, everything we can. Our cash envelopes, we each get $80 a week, and we try our best to, like, not even spend all of that uh, because, yeah, I don't know. Just rollover helps so much whenever you're trying to save. It's honestly insane. So everything got $2, and now we have two left. So I'm probably going to throw that into... I could just do it into the front ones. Uh, we'll just go ahead and just keep stuffing. So we'll do medical and then equipment. Just to finish off with these last $2. Okay, so that is everything in my baby binder stuffed. Same thing with these sinking funds. So don't forget if you guys are interested in entering my giveaway to click that Google form link at the top of my description down below. And yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.